We get into tomorrow night's Sweet 16 showdown with Trenton Wesleyan. Today we caught up with the Maroons as they prepare for the Warriors. We're uh, in the sectional. I felt like it was just an extension of our season. I we're 28-2, and, and, and we really didn't change things. Defense was our backbone and unselfish team basketball and offense, and it got us done, and now we're uh, playing Tuesday night at Charleston in the Sweet 16. Team game coming up against Tr Trenton Wesleyan, and... A good team. They just beat Madison by one. They got two big kids and pretty good backcourt, so they should be pretty good. Well, right now I'm nervous, but I think tomorrow when it gets game time, as soon as the ball goes up, it's time to fight. But I think I think as long as we come with a good mental attitude and have our defense, you know, pumping, then I think I think we'll be fine. All right, we will be at that game tomorrow. Now let's get you up to date. Jeremiah Johnson filling in for Jason Prince. You could play basketball out in the park. It would be a good day for yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, yeah. you. Know, it's a perfect time of the year for basketball fans with the NCAA tournament draw Sunday. And it's a perfect time to be a fan of the Robinson Maroons. We'll recap their exciting super sectional victory next in sports. Close captioning. With the Valley's best coverage of local sports. Welcome back. Well, we're starting to get the hang of this state championship theme. Shortly after a successful weekend in Conseco Fieldhouse for the girls, a guys team across the border is on its way to state. The Robinson Maroons have caught Illinois March Madness fever. Now, thanks to a dominating super sectional victory last night over Trenton Westland, their bags are packed for Peoria. Brothers Nick and Chris Brooks combined for 31 points, equal to the Warriors' total for the game. This is the school's first ever state finals appearance. In fact, they last advanced to the super sectional 25 years ago. The third ranked team in Class A savored the championship with an eye towards unfinished business. It's a great feeling. Finally get it done. <laughs>
week. Compliments of WGYE. We are broadcasting live here tonight. The other course for our PA system here. Mr. Mickey. I'd like to thank the PA Life for broadcasting our assembly tonight. Thank you, Jerry. It's my pleasure to stand before you tonight. I just basically have some informational news that I need to pass along to you. First of all, um, the girls' basketball team this morning raised over $800 for Lacey Wolverton. Thank you. 
not embarrassing. Better be nice. One, two, three, four.
Peoria. We just want as much fans and everything that come by supporting. It's going to play a real hard defense. Do the best we can. Basketball is basketball. <laughs> Community. Oh, it feels great. My dad got beaten 77 here and he won this morning.
then obviously it's going to The track including an injury update after this timeout. Closed captioning on WTWO is brought to you by Terre Haute First National Bank. I'm John Marvel, candidate for Vigo County Sheriff. During the past month, I've been out listening to people all over the county, and I've learned that the main concern of Vigo County residents is for the safety of their homes and their families. In the 100, your sports voice in the Wabash Valley. Now, sports director Jason Penske and the Valley's best coverage of local sports. Welcome back. We're happy to report that Indiana State will be the future home of one of the Valley's top point guards as Robinson Jr. Tyson Schnitker today verbally committed to play college hoops for the Sycamores. Schnitker was one of the key cogs to the Maroons' high-powered machine. He scored 12 points a game, dished out five assists per game, and in the process was a fairly deadly outside shooter, deadly to the tune of 58% behind the three-point line. His play was a big reason the Maroons made it to the Illinois Class 1A State Finals. Tyson chose Indiana State over the schools, over other schools, I should say, like Butler and Eastern Illinois. He'll sign his letter of intent this coming fall. Congratulations to Tyson Schnitker. The Indy Racing League announced today that Robbie.